Hello everyone, we are group 7. This is our model explanation video. This is our classifier model. First we import the model and we need to set up the parameters we need. Then we split the images to train and test. Using image data generator to generate more images and set input shape to Im image size. Then we train ResNet 152 function which is a pre-trained convolutional neural network model that has dense layer of 2048 neurons, batch normalization layer, relu activation layer, and a dropout layer with dropout rate of 0 0.7. The model then is compiled using sparse categorical cross entropy loss function and the atom optimizer is an then is saved to a file called model ResNet version 1.1. This is our result with the training accuracy and validation accuracy. With 30 epic results on the left and 100 epic results on the right. Next, we introduce our GAN model. After we import all the packages and parameters we need, we define a function called utpuzzle that takes in a list of images and values for a number of rows and columns to use in creating a composite image. Then we use image data generator to generate more images for training. Then we create generator and discriminator. The model consists of a series of layers, including dense layers, batch normalization layers, and the convolutional transpose layers. The output of the model is an image with dimensions of 64 times 64 times 3, and the values in the range of 1 to negative 1. The model consists of a series of convolutional layers and fully connected layers, with various batch normalization and activation layers overlapped. The model outputs a single sigmoid value indicating the probability that the input image is real. The optimizer G and optimizer D variables are the tensor flow optimizers that will be used to update the generator and discriminator during training. At last, we print the AC GAN discriminator and generator loss on the left figure. These are the pictures we generated. For model improving, I think we should be patient in the hyperparameters optimization before randomly testing different cost functions. Some researchers have, had suggested that tuning hyperparameters may ripe a better return than changing the cost functions. We can also experiment with different learning rates for the generator and the discriminator for best, better results. Thank you for listening.